Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Edgehog, episode 24. Who am I? I need to find the answer to that myself. The only clues I have are the mystical chaos I'm with I have to find. So the third one in the scorching God damn it. Charmy! <laughs> it actually cut him off. Hold that thought. Because we got more story to do. Oh, okay. Or some more shadow to play. Yeah, yeah, man. So, uh, we're, oh, gonna be doing, no, we're gonna okay. be doing Mad Matrix. Oh, <laughs> don't scare me the, like that. <laughs> we're gonna be doing the neutral route again. Oh, okay. Yep, neutral again. Doing neutral again. No real reason, just because I want to. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want, man. No kidding. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll explain what we're doing. We're, we're going to be uh, pretty much doing the same five playthroughs, except we're getting the other ones, except we're going to be taking weird, unconventional routes to get there. So, this time we're doing the all-hero route. Wow, that's... That is weird, because... They had... To, we've gone all neutral up to this point, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're now we're well, doing well. Uh, we we went we went neutral, and then we went hero just in the last mission. Right, right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! All right. I, I was about to say when did when did we get to the like hilarious stuff, and then it just it just happened. I gotta say that this level is only fun when you're going at the normal speed. Ah, uh, yeah. When you're going at when you're going at 2.5 times speed, well, uh, um, this it's a very intricate level. I mean, this, this is the one that has colored panels. So, uh, oh, ah! well, okay. There we go. Tick two. Here we go. So this is the rest of the episode, right? <laughs> uh, I I most certainly hope not. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. Oh, jeez. I still don't understand why they put up those barriers in front of you. I mean, they don't, don't serve a purpose besides, hey, you're stuck for a few seconds. I don't, maybe it's to either clue you in saying, hey, there's something important over here because it's something worth protecting. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. no, I'll, I'll follow you on that. I mean, if I was thinking in terms of good game design, that's what I would say. But if in terms of, uh, hey, we need to put something here. Eh, put some things. Ah, that's cool. But I'm the sound guy. Can't you use these sound effects somewhere? I know. Electronic walls. I'm the sound guy. What the hell is an INI &I file? <laughs> oh, oh no. what? I passed you the wrong All right. direction. All right, uh, take three. Try it again. We'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually, I promise. Wait a minute. That floating block, did it just vanish into the ether? Yeah, that's what happens when I do the hover code. Sometimes the floating platforms that aren't attached to anything just kind of don't, uh, don't know what to do. Just have no idea what to do. Uh, <laughs> and then it just went away. As easily as it had come, it had gone. Give me your gun. Thank you. Oh, finally. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, that was worth it. All, right. <laughs> All the build-up to finally right. get a gun and then... All right, now... Take four, action. Uh, all right, the, the actual the actual ones. It was, a, it was built up to a pretty good punchline. I'm, I'm impressed. Who says the punchlines come? <laughs> Ooh. What is up with that? Maybe it's just a punchline that never ends. Much like life and society in general. Oh, my God, you're getting deep again, man. You need to pull you out. Come on, so come Sonic back to me. Sonic makes me go places, especially <laughs> this game. I think it makes every fan go places. Have you seen the fandom? Duh. I, see, when I go up that slope, it, it makes me think I'm going slower than I actually am. And then when I hit the top of that slope, I just zoom right off the edge. I noticed. What? Jeez. Wait. And I'm having a hard time hitting that, too, so there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, I All was right, about so to progress. say, yeah, just Let's screw it and just float. <laughs> there we go. All right, so off we go into the main portion, and since oh, we know what happened oh my last gosh. time, we're just heading right over to the red sector to move on. Oh my god, you're overtaxing NORAD. The entire <laughs> the entire government <laughs> computer system is about to blow. Uh, I actually really like this part. This part looks really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite levels in the game. 
kind of wish there was a little more to do, but, you know, I I don't mind. It's giving me a, a Tron vibe. I'm oh, sure. no, no, no. You just died no, again. No, no, no. God no. damn it. Take oh, five. So, oh, right. So it's one of these levels. Okay, well, I wonder, I wonder what's going on in the world right now. Let's see. Any Any news right now? Oh, what's that? The Nintendo Switch sold over 900,000 uh, units in its first month. That's awesome. What? That's Zelda that's outsold it. That's hilarious. <laughs> God damn it, dude. All right, I'm going back to the news. Well, well, of course Breath of the Wild would outsell the Switch because Breath of the Wild came out for more than just the Switch. Uh, I'm actually talking about Switch ver the Switch version. The Switch version outsold the actual Switch. I know why. Uh, collector's edition and a regular edition. I also know why, because people would rather get the best Zelda game on the Switch, and then they'll get a Switch when there's actually games for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of which, Monopoly! Yeah, Monopoly. And Payday you know, I'm, I'm finding... I'm not convinced by a Switch yet. I'm still perfectly content with my standard PlayStation 4, because it solves every other dream I've ever wanted out of a game console. Just... Whew. No, I, I completely agree. That last direct was a was nonsense. Clown shoes. It's like, whoa, wow! Wait, I can have Monopoly on the Switch, huh? That's great. I have Monopoly on the PlayStation One. Oh, sweet. Are you saying I can have Payday Two, a game I just bought on Steam for five dollars on the Switch? Holy for 60? shit! Probably yeah. forty, but no, it's, yeah. pro it's probably forty. But yeah, that's, if it's sixty, I wouldn't be surprised. That's inexcusable. Inexcusable, but hey, at least Splatoon 2 and Mario Kart 8 look awesome. I never really played Splatoon. I already have Mario Kart 8, so again, still no reason to buy a Switch. I still think we should play something on the Switch. Maybe I'll bring Bomberman over and you can see how broken it is. Yeah, great. Then I'll be even less convinced to buy a Switch. <laughs> well, don't buy Bomberman. All I gotta do <laughs> I, is I wait I for my you. shiny new... Uh, my shiny new partner, Frederator Network, Leaderboard <laughs> Network, to maybe front me a Switch, and perhaps I can, mm. can make reviews and interesting trivia based on your behalf. You can email me at I'm just kidding <laughs> at YouTube.com. Yes, my paymaster overlords, please supply me with a brand new video game console that is out of print as of this moment because Nintendo can't meet demand for anything. Will you be more kind than my previous master? You may know him as the mouse. He he kicked me out. He evicted me he, he from my tiny you cardboard of box outside the studio. Get lost, loser! No, Mickey, please. Oh, but he kept you. No, yeah, yeah. For some reason, after I got my eviction notice, a month later, I'm still with Maker Studios somehow. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! There might be something to this little disco guy! Well, you know what's funny? After my time limit was up and they said they were going to evict me, they sent me another letter. After denying me my removal, because I wanted to leave anyway, they denied me <laughs> disconnecting my own account from them, and then they gave me another eviction notice. So by the end of April, I should be officially gone. And if I'm not, then they're just playing games with me. If we keep saying we're going to fire you, that means we can't pay you. Which thankfully they did pay me pretty timely. That's so that that's 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 good on you guys. At least you, at least you paid me my last money left before I you know. Thanks. Anyway, it's past time. Oh, cool. Is SBO still useless? So, I see you sneaky rats are back again. Huh? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, "Is he in chaotic?" Oh God, not again. <laughs> we already did that joke. <laughs> exactly. All right. So. uh... Well, while we're doing this boss fight again at 2.5 times speed, this is hilarious, by the way. He didn't. He is like so far away. He can Especially barely once catch we up get here. this thing. Oh hell yeah! Destroy him. We have to try and do. Oh, this boss should be over by now. Well, you, if, if I can, if I can aim, that is. You know what they say. All right, you ask for it. <laughs> Is that what they say, Eggman, or is that just what you say? Oh, making grand statements, Eggman. You know what they say. <laughs> Stop is it. he like cloning himself every time he does that? <laughs> All of a sudden, there's an army of ten thousand outside the internet, and it's like, you know what they say. I have no past. What do you mean? Now, wait for the <laughs> Now he says, I have no past, what are you talking about, Doctor? Like, hey, that's ridiculous. 
I still love that. If you were to cut that off right there, that would make it the best worst line in this game. See, that makes no sense. All right. Imagine for a second that you were just now born at this at this very moment right now. Okay. Congratulations, you have a past. That's why I love and hate that line so much. Especially if you cut it off right there. I have no past. You just beat a <laughs> boss! And you're going to say that! And leave it at that. That's what I think is hilarious. I know they don't leave it at that, but it would make it so much more funnier and so much stupider if they just left it at that. It's like, that's his, that's his taunt. He knocks down Eggman one more time in the internet and he goes, I have no past! And then he just walks off and flips him off. It's like a Leroy Jenkins line there. <laughs> I, think a, I, think a, you know, I think a dumber line would be, I have no present! Shadow, don't you remember? <laughs> Um, Shadow the Political Statement, Edgehog. So, uh, we're doing this Sonic 06 reminiscent stage, and, uh, and you think it'd be- well, uh, okay, let's try that again. Oh, um, right, here he goes. The idea is we gotta reach the end by the end of five minutes, and- <laughs> Wow. Uh, that won't be a problem. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, it shouldn't take long, but this level was a nightmare if I remember correctly. Well, uh, th I think we can make it work somehow. Holy shit, you're going so fast, I can hardly keep up. Yeah, I am. It's a good thing this thing is basically a railroad for at least the first segment. What I love is that he also attacks faster, too. <laughs> <laughs> he's been working out, he's got to show off a little bit. So he's like, hoo ha, hoo hoo ha, hoo hoo ha. Damn, not here. Hoo uh, whoops. ha, hoo ha, Donkey Kong. I'm trying to figure out a point where I can fit in times point one speed. Times point one, times point one speed. Wouldn't that just be normal speed, or am I missing something? That's times one point oh Damn, speed. Oh, you mean point? Oh, it's it's, it's either point one or point two five. Either way, it's slow. I yeah, slow down. I think I think I know what I'll do. Okay. I think I think maybe I will uh, maybe I'll do this stage at point two five speed, going throughout the whole episode. Oh God, you're making me sick! All right, you're there. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll like stretch it so that way it fits at some point or whatever. Oh sweet, UDJ uploaded a two hour long episode. What? It's just <laughs> this level for two hours, but just really slow. What a rip off! So, uh, I'm kind of in the pits right now, having a little, uh, trouble here, because I'm moving way too fast for the game to really recognize, and so this lift takes forever! Oh, God. Please get on it. Please get on yeah. it. There we go. Oh, uh, I just remembered the conversation we were having on this exact level. It was actually about, uh, Sonic Forces, which now we know what it's like. Uh -huh. At least for a little bit, but, uh, gotta say, I, I dig it. I dig what I see in Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania, so here's hoping they actually, you know, play well. I guess they've been working on Sonic Forces for, like, a long time. Yeah, and that's that's why I'm thinking it's going to be good, because, you know, they actually took some time. I, I, I can only hope, dude. I can only hope. Because I, mean, I, I mean, people are starting to look at Sonic... Oh, that, that took me to the end. Jeez. People start to look back on Sonic a little bit more fondly, like, you know, not really as, you know, something truly sacred and wonderful, but just kind of like that special needs kid at school who kind of messes up, kind of freaks out every so often, you know, kind of is a dick, but, you know, he's he's really nice, he always has interesting things to talk to, and, you know, he doesn't really know any better, so, you know, he's fine, you know? Mm-hmm. Because... I love Generations, and that's what this is reminding me of. It also reminds me of this is like the game version of Sonic Sat AM. So uh, if the third hidden character is Princess Sally, I totally fucking called it. <laughs> no! No! Oh, wait, this is just a flashback. Sorry. Yeah, it is just a flashback, yes. Oh, thank God. Uh, every time I see Maria, it's like nom flashbacks happen. <laughs> flashbacks. <laughs> Maria. Hmm. Maria. Maria! No, my name's Sonic. Up there. Huh? <laughs> so you found out my middle name. <laughs> Sonic Maria Hedgehog. Whoa. So now we're at the All Hero Route final haunt. Uh, one of my still my one of my favorite songs in the game. 
And uh, we're gonna be doing the hero, no, the, sorry, the dark route this time. We're being dark and not pumpkin hell, woo! Yeah. That's pretty fast. Oh wait, no, this this isn't the level I'm thinking of. I was no, thinking of like of like Eggman's castle or whatever that was, where you had to light no, the lanterns. No, 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 That's no, no, Pumpkin no. Hill light. No, this is just cool. Yeah, this this is just neat. Yes. Grab the energy ass. sword. And I'm ready to. F <laughs> need to get up there. Okay. There. So we uh he wants us to find Black Doom and well I guess we're going dark. The we gotta activate all the black comet shields. <laughs> so you're gonna make the comet collide with Earth because you're a dick? Yeah, I think we're just putting up the defenses because, again, Black Doom has mud for brains instead <laughs> of uh, fibrous tissue. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he is, uh, <laughs> uh, he didn't think to turn it on himself, I don't think. Okay. Well, I'm just thinking he is an eye, so, you know, maybe that's... Maybe he's just got the smarts of an eye, which... Again, again, you know, uh, brute strength doesn't mean brains. Look at orcs, for example. It, exactly. They, they just go in packs. They, they're pretty stupid, but, you know, you get enough of them in the same room, they're probably going to take you down. By the way, I'm talking Lord of the Rings orcs, if people want to call me out on that. Yeah, no, that, that'll work. I mean, they're no uruk which are, like, ten times smarter than your average orc. Are they, though? Well, yeah, they set up, like, a big bomb thing. They, they took out a wall. I mean, that one kamikaze guy, he just went straight for it. He took a couple arrows to the chest, and he was like, Nah, nah, don't even worry about it. I got this! And then he blew up. Still, oh, lo still love that scene, by the way. That is a great movie. So I gotta find a vacuum or something. <laughs> so I can pull out that platform. That is... The best thing you could have said for an out-of-context line. Somebody's flipping through this episode, and all of a sudden you say, I need a vacuum. Perfect. <laughs> so I can just hover over that. Great. Well, uh, I mean, if, if, so, if, so, if this is their first episode and someone's made it this far, I think they <laughs> might know that something just might be amiss. Boy, this Shadow of the Hedgehog game ain't making sense. I don't want to watch the rest of it, but mysteriously, I do. You know, I don't really remember playing this uh, when I was a kid. Not quite like this. <laughs> I remember it a different way. A lot more fondly. So, what's, what's also great about this level is that if you're going for the dark route, whenever you hit one of these switches... It actually blocks off part of the level that takes you further on. So, hey, this will take you to the next part of the, of the stage, I guess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I it's thought easy. I heard I thought I heard broken glass and I thought your bird just ran into a window. <laughs> or like <laughs> the black doom equivalent of running into a window. <laughs> Wow, these these comet windows are clean. <laughs> Stupid bird just ran right into it. Humans have invented Windex. <laughs> now we are unstoppable. <laughs> yes, the ultimate power, Windex. <laughs> now available at your local retailer. Windex, this is the ultimate power. This is who I am. <laughs> Shadow's just a big bottle of Windex with gloves and a black and a black spine. And then Supersonic comes up and kicks the crap out of him. And Shadow's like, what on earth? And he's like, that's the power of Pine Soul, baby! <laughs> and then Billy Mays tries to sell it, and then it becomes a whole big thing. <laughs> Aw, Billy Mays. Yeah, Shadow uh, becomes Super Shadow, and he goes like, hi, Billy Mays here! With OxyClean! And then uh, Sonic turns into Hypersonic, and he goes, <laughs> Sully here for OxyClean! Oh, Jesus! Oh, too, ma too many things. I think we've gone too deep. Oh, man. But hey, that's just, that's just uh, some crazy idea that I thought I would pitch to you. Hmm. The joke is, is that they were pitchmen. 
Yes, I understand. Okay. I'm, I, uh, no, no don't, don't worry. I've I've known you long enough to know when you're pitching me a softball here, okay? Don't underestimate me. I don't like the pitch you're taking to me, man. Because <laughs> that's the power of OxyClean. Okay. <laughs> oh, they fused. No. <laughs> They've encaped Sonato! No! no not Sonato! We put them together! What have we done? What has science created? Wait, is that another one? Yeah, all this is... It just leads to turrets that take out the spaceship so that way you can have an easier time getting through. And, well, oh. I think we already have an easy yeah, time getting through. Yeah, at this point, who cares? Yeah, I thought it was going to give you, like, another car or something like that. Like, all of a sudden, there's a Jeep on this comet. You know, it'd make about as much sense as anything else. Imagine my disappointment. <laughs> when you just... All that time, you open it up, it's like, oh, fucking turret, really? But imagine if I spent hours upon hours trying to find every single goddamn key in this level, too. Yeah. Only to find out, oh, I can just make it a little easier for myself. <laughs> yeah, aren't some of the keys, like, at the end of the level, past the place where you would need the turrets anyway? It's like, this whole game, its whole motto should just be not worth it. <laughs> because, wh what do you get for getting all A ranks? Uh, you unlock, uh, expert mode or something. Oh. Well, wh what do you do when you beat expert mode? Uh, nothing. What do you do when you get all 326 endings? Uh, not, nothing really. Like, wow. No, nothing ma nothing matters. There's no end goal to anything. Like, remember in Sonic Adventure 2 where we could get all A ranks and get fucking Green Hill Zone? That shit was the shit, man. That shit was the fucking shit. The fucking shit. What do we get here? We just get, you know, hey, great job. What? It's just a spring? Oh, for spring another goddamn takes you turret. To another goddamn turret. Alright, fine. Okay, wh what else do we need to do here? There's one more. Ah! Oh my god! Dude! What's wrong with you? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is what I need. This is who I am! <laughs> Let's go! Hey, really fast with the bird. Oh, here we go. Boom! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, no, boom! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I love this. I love the fact that the bird responds to you ramming right smack into a wall. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see. Where's your next? What are you doing, you traitor? Shut up. I'm working. At least we got that save point. But I think I got turned around here. Uh-oh. Uh hmm. It's now or never. Dad, go away. <laughs> Sonic, where'd you come from? <laughs> I'm always here, Shadow. Always. What? Ah! I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. I thought that was like the end or whatever, but. Huh. Should be a way to keep going, I guess. I can be your shoulder to cry on, Shadow. <laughs> Come to me if you have a problem. You died I can be again. Your I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> I won't be too fast for you, will I? Take all the time you need. No need to be fast. Is that a soccer ball attached to, like, a football helmet? Something That's like the that. vacuum egg, which I oh. think reminds me of Billy, and the, Billy Hatcher and the giant egg. You know, I always was curious about that game, really wanted to play it when I was a kid, and now that I'm older, I just couldn't care less. You know, funny thing about Billy Hatcher and the giant egg. Uh-oh. I was also into that shit because, oh my god, it's a GameCube game from the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog. This seems pretty great. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be one of the greatest, you know, alright, Billy Hatch giant egg, alright, pick up game stuff, gonna be take, take it home, man. What the fuck is this bullshit nonsense? You want me to roll an egg from point A to point B? You want me to make sure it doesn't break? Remember Glover? Well, what if we, that wasn't as fun? I, you know, I was just thinking of Glover when you were explaining it to me, and that uh -huh. shit was horrible. So what if we added enemies? They made it all timed and shit, huh? That's... that's awful. Kill me! So, d don't you have Billy Hatcher? Uh, no, I don't. That's the oh, that's one of the games I don't have. No, I thought you did. Uh, no, it's well, like... Well, see, that it's, was it's the point. Good, it's good you don't have it. It sucks. It's terrible. 
Yeah, that was the point. Like, I, I wanted it when I was a kid, and then all of a sudden, nah, nah, forget it. So here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a gun in easy reach, so that way I can turn on the switch and finish the level. And of course, I'm kidding. Stone water at every corner. Here, I'm taking your gun. Give it. Give. Give. <laughs> Satellite gun doesn't really, really want to work as well. The Hammer of Dawn? There! Really? Alright. Hey, there we go. So back in here. Zip out of the way to the end. I was, I was about to ask what you were doing, because you were right there. So there oh. we go. Oh my god, you needed a gun for that? Yeah, and I didn't have one by the time I got there. God, that's dumb. That's I dumb. will not allow anyone to set their hand on Well, at least there was a way to go back, I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So you're not just boned. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, is that another playthrough finished? Yeah, that's the last stage. We just gotta do the boss, and then on to the next playthrough, and then times holy five, times point crap. five more speed. Holy crap! Cannot wait. Well, that'll be times three speed. <laughs> for those you keep in track. Shadow. So now we gotta do this fucking boss again. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm going back to the choke. Right? Oh my I'm God! With whoever goes right, up what's, against what's going you? on in the world? This time the world's still screwed. Down, Sonic. Yep. Uh. Well, hey, maybe you want to tune into this one, because remember, this time, we have 2.5 speed going on. Correct, which means you should be able to beat this lickety-split, right? Well, relatively lickety-split. You are going so fast. Let's just see how quickly we can hit him. Okay. Wow! That was pretty good! Oh, I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar. Hi, Billy Mays here, ready to teach you how to take down this robot in no time flat! If you want the power, the virtue, the speed to take down any giant robot, times 2.5 speed is the way to go! And it only costs $19.99! I said a dollar. $19.99! And if you order now, we'll throw in 99 lives and 999 rings absolutely free with no strings attached. But I'm not done yet! Call now in the next 15 minutes, we'll double the speed absolutely free! Just pl just pay shipping and handling! Oh Here's God, how to order! Like and every time you increase your speed, our company will plant a tree! <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about when you say that! <laughs> I was hoping you... I was hoping you would remember that! <laughs> Holy shit, infinite ammo! Oh, okay. Oh, where did you go? Die, go, go, go! There he goes, oh, there he die, goes! Sir. Die, die! Go, go! Oh, almost! Just a little bit more, come on! It was so close! Come on! It's so close! Oh, there, there we go! Back. Who cares? Yes! Yes! Oh, oh that was great! Oh, you thank see, God I, for action replay! I don't think we would have had as much fun if we just started with the action replay. No, no, it, was, it, it all had to be built up, too. I like it. That's right, and, and it's still building up. This is still, yeah. still anywhere near as fast <laughs> as we can go. Oh, please, let me see it. Perfect. Three times speed, motherfucker! Three times speed. That's what's next. <laughs> oh, but first, we need to, like, kill Sonic or whatever. Check, check, out, check out this nonsensical crap. <laughs> oh. Just to put the cherry on top. One, two, three, uh, uh, uh. four, five, six, seven, eight, Finally, nine, got all ten. You already made that joke! No, uh, 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 but this is who I am! Oh, man. The count is who you are? Ah, ah, ah! Oh, for real. This kind of drops his hands like, seriously, bitch. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. And now, no, you're not. I am the most powerful hedgehog in the world. <laughs> the I'm gonna call this the. You know, <laughs> invincible. I'm gonna call this the, the canon hedgehog. ending. This is who I am. Because you know he 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 doesn't kill Sonic. He just kind of beats him and wins. And he just rubs it in his face. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm the best. I'm the best. All hail Shadow plays and all that. 
<laughs> wait, so, didn't it say head? Oh, wait, you unlocked the head cannon. Okay, I thought it said that was the I, head cannon ending. I, I, I upgraded. So that was uh, the strongest hedgehog. So how, how fitting. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, all right. Times three speed wow. next time, and let's play Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, yes. Oh, 